So I'm now working on the uh, on the walls, and what you see here is uh, one of the walls with the two windows in it. The windows, the white um, uh, rectangular things there. They'll be fiberglass in, and there's a they'll give the window a rebate on the other side. I'll cut I'll cut the frame out so. The window frame itself will be um, set inside the fiberglass panel so that branches and stuff if you're scraping down the side don't get caught on the windows. That's the idea anyway. And I've just realised I've made a bit of a stuff up <laughs> um, that the window should be at the other. I have. That was easily fixed. <laughs> All good now. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I've put the rest of the uh, high density foam in. I'm just straightening it up at the moment uh, to make sure it's all perfect. Um, so all the external dimensions are all good. I've got a little bit of um, you know, bowing out in some of the, in the long edges. Um, because of the PVC, it's not that rigid. It's, uh, it's not nearly as rigid as timber. Um, and it doesn't take a screw you know, fantastically well. Um, so I'm going to be gluing those back onto the foam and using some 60mm uh, you know, um, uh, screws to, to sort of hold it in place. So once I get that all done, um, uh, we should be good to start putting uh, um, the epoxy and chop strand mat over the top of this. This is the inside. Uh, so the, the white patches, as I said earlier, are, uh, are the windows. Uh, so a new toy, uh, um, I gave away my, all my uh, trimmer, I had three or four trimmers from uh, previous businesses, I had to replace it, so the latest technology with an 8 volt battery, Makita, nice little bit of work, um, will keep me uh, uh, happy for about oh, four or five hours I reckon, then I've got to go back to the uh, tool shop and see what else they've got. Uh, black gussets in the corner, that's just a bit of carbon fibre. Um, whilst the epoxy resin is, uh, is expensive, one of the advantages you can just throw a bit of um, carbon fibre in it if you want a bit of extra strength because um, your carbon fibre doesn't uh, work with um, polyester, polyester resin or vinyl ester, it only works with um, epoxy resin. So in this instance I can just throw a bit of this 180 gram um, Weaving and uh, uh, you know, it's only a little bit, it weighs next to nothing, but um, its size and weight um, uh, is dwarfed by its strength, so it's adding a massive amount of extra set strength for no extra weight in these corners. So I had it lying there, so I, I just um, popped it in. I had to uh, wait in line to use the toilet this morning. <laughs> there was a bit of a queue, our little friend. He's green at the moment too. He's changed from his brown coloration and he's, uh, he's decided to be a green frog for a while. And good luck to him. 52 litres of epoxy resin and another roll of uh, a 50 gram um, chop strand fibre. Thousand dollars Australian worth there. <laughs> Should keep me going for a while though. So I've now got the um, uh, that side just stood up. Uh, so this is the side look now is the outside, and that was one that was laying down face down. So now I'm flipping it over so it, uh, so I can um, uh, glass this side. Uh, it's a bit snug in there. I'm just hoping I've got enough room to put it in. Obviously, it goes on the outside of, of, um, of this side here. So. Um, all good. I'm working on the windows at the moment and I fill them up by um, making this sort of a fiberglass frame for the outside. It's about four and a half mil thick. And then I'm uh, laminating some timber to the inside which the hinges and latches will uh, attach to. And these then go on those frames that I, that I spoke about earlier. Um, it seems to be working well. I've never seen it done like this before but it seems to be a uh, I'll stick with it, it seems to be the right thing to do. I decided to uh, do the fiberglassing of the outside of that wall uh, all in one go, both, both layers in one hit. 
Um, and it worked out well. I got about 3 o'clock in the morning and I got it kitted up. I put my latex gloves on. The only problem was after you know, four and a half hours of uh, fiberglassing with latex gloves on in the tropics, this is what your hands look like. So I've uh, almost finished this side here. I've lifted it up onto some milk crates. It's incredibly strong and I can walk around there and I don't get any flexing or bending. bows a bit if I pick it up. Um, so what I've done is I've also put some, uh, some fairing compound on the outside and doing it level is just uh, makes it so much easier to get fairing on. So I've got the windows there to um, fix up uh, and some other little bits and pieces around the place to, um, to, to get cleaned up and then I'll put a coat of paint on it and then sand it aside to do the other side wall. Um, that's how the, uh, the window is going to sit in there. So it's sort of sitting a bit recessed, a little bit higher than that because there'll be a gasket, a rubber gasket behind it, but only a mil and a half or something or other. So uh, it'll not be nice and flush and hard to get at from the outside. Branches and other things won't um, catch on it. Um, a lot of work though, <laughs> a lot of work. Easier to buy one off the shelf. More uh, dramas in the toilet. Uh... I've got these poos that appeared the other day uh, leading from the window down to the toilet and I, I've got a fair idea what they are. I sort of had a second look at them and um, you know I think they're python poo. Uh, so what I did was, how do, you, how do you identify such a thing? So I went on to duck duck go, you know, pythons like ducks, and typed in python poo and lo and behold it uh, looks very similar. Look at that. Lots of pythons, lots of poo. This little fella here looks very similar, doesn't it? So I think I might have a python. Up here we have a very, uh, it's an olive python, like this one here. It's quite a large one um, uh, that uh, inhabit the name. So I heard a bit of commotion in there the, uh, uh, yesterday and I wonder what was going on. And um, So I just wonder whether we've still got a little green tree froggy or whether he's um, ended up being a meal. So it's the end of the day, another hot one here in Darwin, a bit, uh, bit sticky today. That's the start of the next, sec next episode, that one, that's the, the door, I'm just framing that up because you'll see that I've, uh, I've um, it's a bit uh, dark around here. Whew. There we go, so it's all painted now, that, the side wall panel, it's the passenger, no it's a dri driver's side, it's all uh, painted up. The windows formed into it, um, and it's looking right. It's great paint, the polyurethane two-pack paint, but it's a bit hard to get sort of a uh, really nice and even. I guess if I was to spray it, I'd probably get it a bit better. Um, anyway, that's all all for this episode. Uh, I might go home and have a beer and sit down. I'm a bit exhausted, so catch you later.